Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys good out there. Uh, finally, we got some sun. I'm very, very happy about it. Uh, so I managed to get some nice pictures from Jumanji, which I'm going to share with you guys later on. Uh, there's so many things that I want to share with you guys. But today is the third and final part of the feeding videos. So I'm going to show you guys what kind of food options out there and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's jump in. All right, let's talk about crayfishes. Look at the monster. There's a couple of things that we need to know when we want to feed our Matamata turtles with crayfishes. The first thing that I would highly suggest that Apart from the crayfishes, please just keep other fishes as well in the enclosure, in your Matamata's enclosure. So as you guys can see as well, you're going to give different options to your Matamata turtle, which is going to make your turtle happy and healthy. How? So while you're mixing up their diet, that's going to help their digesting system to work properly and that's going to, going to help your turtle to get healthier, which is, which is amazing, so do that. The other thing with crayfish is that they high in protein, so I have to say that, that crayfish is actually one of the best options for Matamata turtles. Even that, uh, they not really, Matamata turtles, they not really eat in crayfish in the Amazon River or, or the Orinoco River, but Trust me guys, over there, in their natural habitat, they, it's possible that they can, they, they would eat anything if they're hungry. So, and if, if it's a right size, so just, just keep that in mind. So crayfish is a very good option for Matamata turtles. Uh, one thing with that, with moderation, everything with moderation guys. So that's why it's very important to mix it up there diet all the time so just keep it in mind to mix it up their diet all the time there's two different ways to get crayfishes one from the pet store and the other one i heard and i see in videos that people are getting it from the river nearby the problem with that is that the crayfishes from the river they go into contains parasites and in that case, you're literally going to make your turtle sick and ill, and that's going to cause uh, very serious health issues. So don't do that. Try to avoid it and go to the store and buy some crayfishes over there. Make sure that the crayfishes are in the right size because otherwise, if you if you're buying a bigger one that they uh, your turtle can manage, uh, they can first of all they can injure your turtle. Second of all, they just going to puke it out. That's it. Frozen food, guys. This is a very common thing to do uh, between Matamata turtle keepers. Uh, as you guys can see, my friend Chris just splashed the water a little bit, so he's signed to his Matamata turtles that, guys, it's time, it's feeding time, and they totally ready to get fed, to be fed. On the top, there's a beautiful meal, and on the bottom, you guys can see it from the carapace. It's a gorgeous, beautiful female, huge, beautiful female and they're going to get fed in a minute um with frozen food you guys always need to make sure that you guys doing your research you guys checking the fat intake the fat level uh the protein level uh but you guys can see it chris's matamata turtles are just being happy and they eating very very well Bronze guys, bronze is one of the food options I wouldn't recommend it to give it to your Matamata turtle because they contain thiaminase which can lead to vitamin B1 deficiency and certain disorders and can be fatal to your turtle and can die. Uh, with other frozen foods as well, I would suggest, highly suggest to mix it up 
all the time and do your research. I put a little list of safest frozen foods just uh, for Matamata turtles just down below in the description. So go and check it out. It, research is very important before you trying to or uh, want to feed your Matamata turtle. Just do a little research. You guys need to understand that, that the frozen food is frozen food. It's not going to contain the same level of protein and nutrition like the live food and live fish. The other thing is that, as you guys can see it, the tongs, the tweezers you guys using, make sure that you guys trying to get the tweezers or tongs that uh, including a little rubber on the end. So it's not going to injure your Matamata turtle when they trying to take the food off from the tweezers. Live fishes, guys. So live fishes is like uh, crayfish is one of the healthy, healthiest option. The reason why, because uh, there's so many options out there. And if you guys giving the right fishes to your Matamata turtle that doesn't contain, for example, thiaminis, that your turtle is going to be healthy, strong, and physically and mentally healthy as well. Why and how? Because the live fish is going to stimulate your Matamata turtle to actually get the job done and chase them down and start to go hunting it's amazing to see as well so in that case if you choose to give them live fish just make sure that that you're choosing different fishes give them guramis uh, platys mollies uh, guppies tetras there's so many options out there and make sure you give your matamata turtle a big space so he's going to your matamata turtle going to feel the need to to, to be active and that's going to help your Matamata turtle be healthier and mentally healthier and physically healthier. So yeah, look at that, it's, it's amazing. So pinkies. Pinkies is one of that option, food option that I seen often, but not many people talking about it. There's a reason why. There's a little debate out there that if it's healthy for your Matamata turtle or not. Well, guys, just let you know that in nature, Matamata turtles, as I told you guys already, they're mostly eating cichlids or smaller fishes, but in a way they would eat anything. And it's the same with uh, uh, pinkies as well. So they're going to eat it. And the one thing that it might be bad thing with pink is that they high in fat so i wouldn't suggest to feed your matamata turtles on pinkies all the time so just give them maybe once or twice a week but that's it so again moderation is very important and that's the key word key thing here moderation Brooks guys, so yeah, I think this is one of the weirdest options to, to give to your Matamata turtle. As you guys can see, I didn't manage to find any Matamata turtle to while eating frogs, but I'm still waiting for my frogs as well to give it to Jumanji, so hopefully soon I can give you guys some video, share some video with it. In the meantime, the most common frogs that you guys can find in pesto to give to your Matamata turtle is the African clawed frogs, which is quite common, quite easy to get, and they high in fat and they high in protein as well. So I would suggest to give them maybe once every two weeks or maybe two, but not more than that. Hey guys. So I hope you guys liked the video and I hope you guys found something interesting, something maybe you guys want to try out in the future. So the main thing is always mix it up your food, the food that you're giving to your Matamata turtles. So that's going to help their digesting system to work properly and going to make your uh, Matamata turtle healthier and stronger. The other thing is that uh, wild caught fishes and crayfishes that's a no game they mostly contain parasites so that's gonna make your matamata turtle ill and sick make sure that you're doing your research and about the food that you want to give to your matamata turtle so they're not going to contain any thiamines so it's not going to 
develop your motor motor turtle not going to develop any vitamin b1 deficiency or this any other disorders and i put the list just down below in the description about the safest frozen food that you guys could give to your motor motor turtle so go and check it out other than that guys that was it that was the final video i hope you guys enjoyed it i can't wait to get the frogs for jumanji so i can share a full video of how jumanji is eating frogs i know some of you are going to hate me out there but i want to try out new things and uh, that's why i do that's why i uh, do this research as well so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment below other than that guys if you guys like this video please just send me a thumbs up or if you guys want to know more about motomoto Moto turtles here i am so please subscribe love you guys and see you next week with a new fresh video <laughs>